Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Blades to Be Shop. Super quick video tonight. I had somebody who watched the How to Sharpen Brazed Carbide Tool Bits video, asked a question about how I dress my silicon carbide grinding wheel. So very, very quick video tonight on how I do that. I just use a standard star dresser, and sometimes I use the, uh, the flat diamond dresser as well. So we'll demo both of those and just show that super quick. And that's gonna be the whole video tonight. So only gonna be just a couple of minutes. As always, thanks for watching. If you like the channel, like the videos, wanna see more videos on machining, welding, just everything else we have going on here in the Blades to Be Shop, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and you can check out our videos, usually out once a week by 7 a.m. on Saturday morning. Hey, let's go ahead and jump right into this and let's dress a grinding wheel. All right, so super quick video. I just use a regular star dresser. I also have this diamond dresser to really true up the stone if I need to. Even though I don't have a tool rest, I'm able to just brace my hands a little bit down here on the bench to use either tool. I will typically use this star dresser to flatten out the wheel. So right now I've got a little bit of a, a divot in the middle from sharpening one of my radius tools. So I'm gonna use this diamond dresser first to just flatten that off, get that nice and squared up. That also helps get it running true if it's running a little bit out of true. And then I find that if I use the star dresser, that tends to open up the wheel a little more and make it a little bit sharper for cutting, make it cut my braze tools a little bit better. So I'm gonna start with this diamond dresser and I'm just going to flatten that off, get rid of that dent in the wheel, get that nice and squared up and true, and then I'm gonna come back afterwards and I'm just gonna touch that with this star dresser and take a little bit of a finish off, make sure that wheel is nice and opened up and sharp, and whole process is just gonna take a minute or two. So let me uh, start the grinder up, we'll make a little bit of dust fly and we'll get this dressed and trued. So you see, in order to get that radius, in order to get that dent out of there, we had to take a little bit off. Got lots of dust down here on the bench now from doing that. And before I go to sharpen, uh, again, I tend to find that that diamond dresser just smooths it out a little bit too much. It doesn't cut as aggressively. So I'm just gonna touch that now with this star dressing wheel, make sure I've opened that wheel up again, and it'll tend to cut braised carbide a little better. Once I've hit that with the diamond dresser, it's nice and flat. You can see it just take a couple of rubs across there with the star dresser to open that up a little bit. And that's it. This wheel is now ready for sharpening brazed carbide tool bits. If you wanna see more about that, look up in the top right corner of this video and you'll see a link out to that video on sharpening brazed carbide. And that's it. As I said, short, sweet video tonight, super quick. Hopefully that helps you get your wheel dressed. Well, YouTube, that's it. I said it was gonna be short and sweet tonight, so just a couple minute video on how to dress your grinding wheel, and hope you found that helpful. And if you've got a question on one of my other videos that you've seen out there, or you have a question on something that you wanna try and do in your own shop, drop that in the comments. And hey, if it's something I can help you with, if it's something I can make a, a video on and put that out there for you to help you, if you've got the question, somebody else may have the question as well. And that's the whole point of this channel is to try to offer some videos to help you with what you have going on in your shop, learn some machining principles, and hey, or just problem solve. Like to troubleshoot, and if you come up with something new, hey, maybe we can, uh, can come up with a new idea together. So feel free to drop those in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the channel, like the videos, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I hope you're out in your own shop making some chips of your own, working on some projects of your own, and keep those tools sharp, keep your mind sharper, and until next time, take care.